Gekko Moria. Hey, why you look like that? Oh, you don't know who I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you know this tragic evil character that was first introduced in the tragically bad thriller Barkak at One Piece? Uh, that guy that lost everything against Kaido, including his freaking jawline, and was home run by him in the early midlife crisis? Remember him again? Ah, good. Because today I want to talk about him and why he could be a very important character in Blackbit's plan. Let's start right away. Yeah, Gekko Moria is really one of the most tragic characters in One Piece. First he got destroyed by Kaido and Luffy in an open fight, got ambushed by Doflamingo and got tricked by Blackbeard and lost another crew. If he wasn't such an unlikable character, I would be sad for him. He gets no break. Anyway, but I have to say, he is a character that always comes back. But why? Why is he so important for the One Piece story? And yes, you guessed it, because of his freaking devil fruit. I mean, he can stole shadows. If the sun goes up, the guys who get the shadow stolen get Thanos, and he can consume the shadows to make himself stronger, or let others consume the shadows and get the powers and talents of the original person from the shadow. So, a very strong ability, if you ask me. And for Blackbeard, who wants to build the strongest pirate crew, that could be a very great power to have. Just imagine that Blackbeard succeed to stole Shang's shadow, consume it and not only become the man with the strongest devil fruit abilities, no, also the one with the strongest Haki in the world. I mean, in that case that Luffy maybe suppresses him and suppress Shanks in that way, but you got the spirit of what I want to talk about. We all know that the fight between the Red Hair Pirates and the Blackbeard Pirates will happen. I mean, we saw the match of the Marine fought Ark. This could be a way how the fight could go. Blackbeard could use the power of Gekumuria to steal the shadows of the crew and make him his own and make his crew much, much stronger and much, much more powerful than any other crew existing in the One Piece world. How Rocks the Back done it. He attacked maybe God Valley to get the mystical devil fruits there and make his crew stronger. And that would match up with the plan from Blackbeard and the shadow stealing thing. I mean, could suit him. Crazy to think about what kind of monster Blackbeard could become with the help of Gekko Moria's Kage Kage no Mi. So, this was a little theory for you. I hope you like it and feel free to share your crazy theories in the comments. I wish you a great day. Bye!